Some of you are old enough to remember when we used to do prophecy updates. <laughs> Back in ancient times. We do like to reserve a few minutes on Sunday morning during our regular services to suggest news or trends that seem to be predicted by a literal futurist reading of the Bible. We haven't included an update in our live streaming since COVID-19 hit, and so we're reopening the update today, getting back on track. We're careful to use mainstream sources for news. There's a lot of sensationalism surrounding biblical prophecy, and we don't want to add to that. We don't want to... Uh, well, I think the Bible is sensational enough. You don't have to make it more sensational by making things up that aren't there. We're not saying the things we report are the definite fulfillment of prophecy, only that they are the things you'd expect by holding a Bible in one hand and a newspaper in the other. When I was saved in 1979, futurists had already been talking about a way of transacting business or being identified by the mark on hand or forehead described in the Revelation. It seemed impossible, even incredible at the time. It seemed equally ridiculous in the decades that followed. Now, today, we know it as biometrics, and its implementation is happening all around us. A May 8 article posted on biometricupdate.com was titled, Airports and Biometrics Providers Work Towards Relaunch with Contactless New Normal. Here's some excerpts from that article. Melbourne area Avalon Airport has expanded its partnership with Alenium Automation to implement the company's full suite of biometrics and other tech for touchless self-service through the airport as part of its COVID-19 response. Kiosks will sense head movements instead of touch screens, while passenger, or excuse me, passport screening will be conducted by the traveler holding the document up rather than inserting it in a machine. The full suite also includes voice recognition in multiple languages developed in partnership with Amazon Web Services. Elenium recently announced the deployment of technology that screens body temperature and heart and respiration rate for tests by Etihad Airlines. Uh, Avalon Airport CEO Justin Giddings said the partnership shows how quickly COVID-19 mitigation methods can be put in place. Economic pressures, safety, and security concerns that now include health and sustainability will be the major impact areas for the airline industry. <clears throat> Heathrow Airport, meanwhile, has announced trials of facial recognition and thermal screening to detect people with COVID-19, among other technologies. Technologies and processes that could eventually be the basis for a common international standard for health screening at international airports will be trialed. Heathrow CEO John Holland Kay told the Transportation Committee of the UK's House of Commons, according to an announcement by the airport, facial recognition thermal screening technology for accurate body temperature tracking will be reviewed at a test terminal two beginning in the next two weeks. The technology will be deployed at immigration checking areas and expanded to departures, connections, and other areas if successful. Temperature checks are already required by some countries and Heathrow will have to follow international standards in the implementation, the announcement notes. Contact-free security screening hardware and UV sanitation will also be considered. And, and so um, these are things you wouldn't have even thought about a couple months ago, and now they're going to be implemented, looks like, permanently, not just for a period of time. <clears throat> History has been written in advance. The revelation of Jesus Christ, the last book of the Bible, it's not an allegory, and most of it is future prophecy. People who say it's been fulfilled in the first century and things like that, they're just wrong, I'm sorry to say. Uh, when was there ever a time of tribulation on the entire planet that uh, is different than any time of trouble ever before and that never will be again? Uh, we're not in that. COVID-19 isn't that. COVID-19 has a part to play, and if it does, it's that it moved us rapidly towards acceptance of a contactless biometric world. And that is the world of the future great tribulation. We talk about God's providence. Everybody wants to know, is this a judgment from God? No, no. This is part of the world being fallen. But God in his providence, which means God provides for, God provides for his plan and he provides for his people, God can use this to move along our acceptance of contactless transactions, 
of, I, I don't know how they're going to you read your head. I guess you have to wiggle your head a little bit and stuff. But it sounds so much like your forehead or your, or your hand, all this contactless stuff. I mean, I, I don't see how people can't change their entire prophetic outcome if they don't understand these things. People are afraid. The only effective remedy for fear is faith. Not just faith in anything or in anyone, but faith in Jesus Christ. He alone has conquered death in order to give you eternal life by simply believing in him. God is long-suffering with non-believers. He's not willing that you perish for eternity. So he waits, and he waits, and he waits for more people to be saved. His long-suffering won't wait indefinitely. He promised to return to resurrect the dead in Christ, at which time he will also rapture living believers. Then he will plunge the world into the great tribulation, which, if you understand it correctly, is a time of grace in which God is still seeking the lost one last time. You don't want to be left behind. And so I ask you, are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up. Or what do we say? Ready or not, Jesus is coming. Amen.